introduction to fractions. We have the numerator that is about counting parts. And we have the denominator, which is about parts per whole. How many parts are there in each one whole? Parts per whole. Counting parts that are shaded, the numerator. You're counting the parts. Here we see that we have one part that is shaded. Number of equal parts per whole. Here we only have one hole, so it's very easy to see that we're going to have eight pieces per this one hole. So we have one out of eight pieces that are shaded. Here we have three different pieces. We need to be specific about the parts that we are calling the hole. The large square represents one hole. Here is a large square, and that represents one hole. We can see that one hole is going to have two parts per hole. That's the denominator. Then we would like to know about the shading. There are one, two, three, four, five halves that are shaded. If you remember from previous math, this improper fraction, if I changed it to a mixed number, now you would see that I have one, two, and a half shaded pieces. Try the last example. Pause the video and try the example. The large rectangle represents one hole. Here is the large rectangle. This represents one hole. How many parts per hole will we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We will have six parts per hole. Now, how many shaded do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight, six represent the fraction being shaded. 